think of renewable energy for buildings, you probably picture rooftop solar panels. But that's just one example of how buildings can generate energy. Buildings can also generate their own renewable power in many ways, from windmills to capturing thermal heat that naturally exists in dense urban areas. Every new way that buildings are able to generate electricity lowers their operating costs and reduces their reliance on the grid. But today, most buildings aren't generating energy. They're just consuming it. Although the number of buildings with on-site renewable energy generation has increased 10x from 2009 to 2019, that still only accounts for 1% of all buildings. And for the buildings that do generate renewable energy on-site, that production usually doesn't meet their energy needs. About 20% of buildings with on-site renewable energy only use that energy to meet more than half of their total energy needs. Most buildings use on-site generation as a small portion of their overall electricity strategy. But to meet our net zero carbon and climate goals, renewable energy production needs to increase by 60%. In terms of renewable energy, that increase in production would need to look something like this, with significant increases across the seven most common sources of renewables. To make up this gap, wind, hydropower, and solar will continue to represent the three biggest sources of overall renewable energy production. However, buildings are exploring other ways to produce renewables on site, like harvesting heat from geothermal pipes, or even the movement of people inside the building. To hit that mark, buildings will need to be able to produce and store energy. To do this, most buildings will need some upgrades. Dual or bi-directional electrical meters are needed to capture energy created and exported to the grid. Battery storage is also useful to house energy that is produced but not immediately consumed on site. When it comes to buildings generating renewable energy, it's not just about generating the power, but being able to put it to work for the building and for the grid.